Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come for a lot of reasons, but one of them and the main reason ought to be to get the word. Amen. We are going to hear the word from our very own Duchess. Amen. A.K.A. Pastor Great Henry, hallelujah. If you all will stand to your feet because this is royalty, amen. This is royalty. Hallelujah. We want to acknowledge her, hallelujah. We want to acknowledge her, amen. She come forward in her own way. He's a lily in the valley. Found him to be bright and throughout the course of the week and you get before God and what it is he would have you to say to the people. It's just always good 
to have confirmation. And Brother Gerald got up here and read that scripture this morning. I said, well, there it is. Amen. 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 Certainly do bless God for, amen, that scripture reading on today. St. John chapter number four, starting at the 46th verse. St. John chapter number four, starting at the 46th verse. When you have it, say amen. amen. And if you don't say, hold up, wait a minute. Amen. <laughs> St. John chapter number four, you stand to reverence if you can. Amen, and respect in the word of God. St. John chapter number four, starting at the 46th verse. It reads like this. So Jesus came again into Canaan of Galilee, where he made the water wine. And there was a certain nobleman whose son was sick at Capernaum. When he heard that Jesus was come out of Judea into Galilee, he went unto him and besought him that he would come down and heal his son, for he was at the point of death. Then said Jesus unto him, except ye see signs and wonders, ye will not believe. The nobleman said unto him, sir, come down here, my child died. Jesus saith unto him, Go thy way, thy son liveth. And the man believed the word that Jesus had spoken unto him, and he went his way. And as he was now going down, his servants met him and told him, saying, Thy son liveth. Then inquired he of him, of them the owl, when he began to amend. And they said unto him, Yesterday, at the seventh hour, the fever left him. So the father knew that it was at the same hour in the which Jesus saith unto him, Thy son liveth, and himself believed, and his whole house. This is again the second miracle that Jesus did when he was come out of Judea into Galilee. Father, I thank you and I bless you for another opportunity to preach your word. God, speak through these lips of clay. God, speak clearly. May it penetrate the hearts and the minds of your people, God. Pray now that I decrease and you increase. Yes. God, move me, God, our people to hear clearly what you have to say. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. We want to take our thought, which is, this is what the Lord laid on my heart. It's already done. It's all ready done. And we want to take it from these passages of scripture, starting at 51. And as he was now going down, his servants met him and told him, saying, Thy son liveth. <coughs> then inquired he of them the hour when he began to amend. And they said unto him, Yesterday, at the seventh hour, the fever left him. So the father knew that it was at the same hour in that which Jesus said unto him, thy son liveth, and himself believed at his whole house. It's already done. When I was preparing, amen, for today's word, and I was laying, amen, in the bed, and sort of meditating and allowing the Lord to minister to me, I begin to think, and if hubby doesn't mind, amen, me being transparent, amen, about situations, amen, within the body of Christ. And it's amazing that we think that when you see people and you see how they act, you see how they dress, you see how they always wear a smile on their face, it seems like just that they just always bubbly. You just never really know what goes on in a person's home or really in their life. Amen. And my husband was supposed to have gotten paid, amen, on the 15th of the month. Amen. And today is the 17th, amen, or the 18th of the month. Amen. And he still has not gotten paid. Amen. But it was something, amen, about this particular time, amen, because it actually happened, amen, 
said a month, a month and a half ago or the month previous. Hallelujah. And it seemed like with this time it was just a day late that last time. But this time we're talking three days late. But it was something about this time, him not getting paid, Sister Pam, that it just didn't worry me. Hallelujah. And I just laid in the bed and, I, and, and the Lord began to minister to me. Hallelujah. And he said, listen, haven't I always taken care of you? Hallelujah. Why, hallelujah, do people worry, hallelujah, about what's going on, talking about the scripture, Brother Joe, hallelujah, about what's going to happen day to day. Haven't I always Yes, Lord. Come on. Taking care of you. Okay. I begin to think about, hallelujah, how we live. And it's amazing that as long as we have abundance and as long as we have enough and as long as we can see the money and that sort of kind of uh, put the seal of approval to go out and do what we want to do. But the moment that we begin to not see things, hallelujah, the way we're normally seeing it, we begin to digress. Oh, God, I hear you. We begin to digress in the way we live. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, my. But yet we say we're royalty, hallelujah. Hallelujah, we're a royal priesthood and a holy nation. But the moment things begin to start acting up, we begin to digress. Yeah. All right, amen. I laid in that bed, Brother Harvey, and I said, oh, no, sir. <laughs> I'm not digressing on nothing, hallelujah. Because truth of the matter is, is that the money really, hallelujah, belong to God. So God gonna take care of us. He already know what we need. So when I begin to read this story about this nobleman, I find that the nobleman is a government official. And as I was reading, I find that it was probably or most likely under Herod's service or rule or regime, hallelujah. And scripture says, listen, that he heard that Jesus was coming out of Judea into Galilee. Now listen, he heard it. And listen, and the scripture says that when he heard it, he went to Jesus, hallelujah. Listen, when I was reading, I found out that from where he came from to where he had to come, hallelujah, was a mile walk. How many of us want it just that bad that we're willing to come to where Jesus is to get? Hallelujah. And so I find that when he gets there, hallelujah. Now, listen, when I'm doing my reading and I'm doing my studying, I find that because he is a government official under Herod's rule, I find that because he, although Jesus is divine, he's also human. So he falls under the, oh God, I think he falls under the authority of the government official. Hallelujah. But yet the government official needed something from Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. He said, listen, he said, sir, my son lie at the point of death. And Jesus said, look, except you see signs and wonders, you're not going to believe but that didn't discourage the government official. It didn't, it didn't discourage the nobleman. He said, listen, sir, come on here. My son is dying. Yeah. Jesus said, go ahead on that. Your son leaves. Mm -hmm. We've been talking about faith. There has to be some sort of measure of faith for me to walk, come on now, from somewhere, hallelujah, that's a 20 mile walk, not really even knowing that I'm going to get the results that I really want after walking, hallelujah. I don't even know, can I just place a phone call, hallelujah? Can I just reserve, hallelujah? Can I just do something else instead of making that 20 mile walk? What if I get there and he's not there? Oh, right. Amen. Oh, What happens if I take this journey mm. and he's not there when I get there? Oh my, oh my. Half of us can't even walk half a block. Amen. We don't even want to walk around the track. So if I gotta walk a certain distance to get to Jesus, not even knowing, but my faith says, you know what? I'm gonna do this because I know that I need something from him, hallelujah. So I'm gonna step out on faith, hallelujah. I'm gonna walk on liquid, hallelujah, and allow it to travel, hallelujah, and get me to a place where I need to be to get what I need and what I want. 
Yes. Scripture says yes. that Jesus said, your son liveth. Yes. But listen, the nobleman, somebody, hallelujah, who heard about Jesus. Mm -hmm. We're talking about a follower. Yeah. Oh, We're talking about a follower. We're talking about somebody, I just heard what this man do. Yeah. So I'm going to get what I need from him. Mm -hmm. all right. And all Jesus did was spoke words. Yes. Mm -hmm. Go, your son liveth. <laughs> Scripture says the man did not question him. Uh-huh. All right. The man ain't say no back talk. Mm -hmm. He didn't say, how you know? Mm -hmm. no. All right. He never questioned. Amen. Scripture says the man turned around. Oh. Can you imagine, listen y'all, can you imagine just taking a 20 mile walk right. for somebody oh. just to tell you, hey, oh. you mean to tell me you ain't going back with me? Oh. You ain't going to go back and lay hands on me? You this 20 mile walk yes. and you just going to tell me that he is? No way. No way.
Jesus spoke, hallelujah, and it turned and walked away. God, I believe my healing, God. Hallelujah, I believe because you said, above all, you was prospering me in good health. Hallelujah. You said that I was made in your image. Hallelujah. You were flawless, God. Hallelujah. I'm already healed. Hallelujah. And although I don't see it, hallelujah, I'm going to walk in that thing. Yes, preacher. Good word, preacher. She says, hallelujah, that because what he believed, he said, at the point, the same hour, in the which Jesus saith unto him, thy son liveth, was when the son began to amend. Yes, Lord. Then listen, he says, and himself believed. Yeah. And his whole house. Hallelujah. I remember back in the day, my mama used to say, I gotta make a believer out of you. She would tell us not to do something, hallelujah. Hallelujah, and we would maybe do it anyway. And she would tell us the consequences Hallelujah, if we did something wrong. So when we did it wrong, we obviously must have didn't believe that she was going to do anything. Hallelujah. And she used to say, I'm going, I am going. got to make a believer out of you. Because I told you not to do this, and I told you not to do that. Well, here come the bell. Hallelujah. And she made a believer out of me. Hallelujah, because she said what she said. What am I saying? Come on. If Jesus say to you, and if he speak a word to you, saints, hallelujah, you need to understand. See, I think we, we get out of, hallelujah, of the fact that the enemy still yet is doing well. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, he making his presence known more now than ever before. Oh, yeah, yeah, amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. So, because he's still seeking whom he may devour, and it's because he still wants to sift us as wheat, hallelujah, we have to very, very, and more closely listen to the word of God, listen to the spirit of Christ, listen to what he's saying in our head. If I tell you, hallelujah, that it's okay, hallelujah, and if I tell you that you do not have to worry, that's what I'm expecting you to do. That's right. That's right. That's right. Not worry about it. This That's is right. real. This is real. You don't have a job? Mm -hmm. I know you ain't got a job. That's, That's right. right. Come on. Come on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We act like mm -hmm. Christ don't know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We act like, hallelujah, come on. we've got to constantly call him up and tell him, do you remember I had a job? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. Did you forget the first of the month is coming? <laughs> And I got to pay my mortgage and my rent. Did you forget? Did you, do you see? I don't hardly have no food in my house. Do you, do you see that, God? Hallelujah. But yeah, hallelujah. How are we going to ask God that? We're going to tell us that I knew you. Come on. Before you were yet in your mother's womb. Hallelujah. I knew you. Don't ask me if I know that. So I already know that. But I'm already prepared away. Okay, thank you. Appreciate it. Took a 
Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Took a step. What do I have to lose? That's right. Mm -hmm. That's uh -huh. right. Mm -hmm. That's right. What do I have to lose? Mm -hmm. Come on. Mm -hmm. You know? That's right. I heard about this man. What what is it that I have to lose? Hallelujah. Oh, my money already gone. What do I have to lose by paying my tithe? Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. Amen. That's right. If he told me he was going to do, open up a window, Help us. Amen. pour us out a blessing, yes, Lord. that we won't have room enough to receive, hallelujah, Amen. what do I have to lose Amen. by giving him my 10%? Amen. Ain't nothing right. room anyway. Amen. Come on. Amen. But the problem is, is that we as humans, hallelujah, been there, done that, hallelujah, because we believe and we think, hallelujah, that we're not going to see instant results. Hallelujah. I believe I heard not long ago, hallelujah, that the woman planted the seed. It was 10 years mm -hmm. That's right. mm -hmm. before the tree grew. That's right. That's right. Hallelujah. <laughs> but it grew. It grew. Amen. <coughs> when scripture says, wait, I say, hallelujah. on the Lord. Yes, Lord. He says, wait twice in that passage of scripture in Psalm. He says, wait, I say, on the Lord. And when he says wait, it does not mean to stand still and do anything. But yet while you are waiting, hallelujah, there's work that still needs to be done. Yes, while I'm yet waiting for my miracle, hallelujah, God, I'm still going to bless you, hallelujah. Uh -huh. While I'm waiting on the blessing, God, I'm still going to worship you, God. Uh -huh. While I'm waiting, I'm still going to get to the altar, hallelujah. I'm still going to intercede from somebody else, hallelujah. Uh -huh. Yet while I'm waiting, yes, because it's already, Amen. it's already done. Mm -hmm. That's and right. we can get that in our spirit. That's right. That's right. In our spirit. That's in our spirit. Hallelujah. I'm not talking about Thank you, Lord. Thank you. wearing things on our shoulders. Somebody can come, hallelujah, and tick you off a little bit. And you forget about the word. Mm -hmm. The word have I hid in my heart. Yes. Amen. So I may not sin against thee. So God, when you speak a word and you tell me that it's already done, that means I'm not going to worry about it anymore. The battle is not mine, but it belongs to you. Doesn't belong to me. Because you knew that it would be before I was even here, before I even got to this point. You knew it. So that means you already made provisions for me. Yes, Lord. When do we get that in our spirit, saints? That my faith, hallelujah, is just not a temporary thing. Hallelujah. That my faith is not just something that you put on layaway. Every now and again, I'm going to pay on it. Hallelujah. And then when I'm really ready to use it is when I'll make my final payment and take it out. And then when I don't see it, hallelujah, faith goes on lay away again. So I lay it away. And then, hallelujah, when I see it coming and it looks like it's going to be good, I make a final payment and then it come upon me. No, faith is not something you put on lay away. Faith is something that I carry with me all the time. I made my final payment a long time ago. Amen. Hallelujah. And every opportunity I get. See, the thing about faith, oh God, is that it doesn't get old. Amen. 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 All right. Every day it's renewed. Every day. Amen. Amen. And as long as I walk in this thing that looked like it's been so long coming, God, it's been so long coming since you told me I was going to so many prophecies that have come my way. A lot of you have had so many prophecies. Some have come. And some haven't. Amen. Some have been confirmed. And some haven't. Amen. Hallelujah. But one thing that I know. Amen. That if God said. Yes, amen. Amen. It shall happen. If God said it. So if God said. I hear you Holy Ghost. So if God says a word. And sends a word to you. Hallelujah. And you don't see it. Hallelujah. You've got to know that it's already done. Hallelujah. But it's got to get to you. Hallelujah. Sometimes a word will come and we're not even in position to get it. Or even to.
to receive it. So what does God do? God begins to orchestrate things. Even orchestrate things in your life. So that he can put you because it's not God's desire to hold back any blessings from us. He wants us to be blessed. We are king's kids. Hallelujah. We belong to him. Hallelujah, in Acts, the 
the book of Acts, hallelujah, the Bible says, hallelujah, that he was not a believer, but he had sense enough to pray. Met up with a man by the name of Peter. Scripture tells me that the Lord said, because of the prayers that you have been praying, they have been stored up as a memorial. Hallelujah. <laughs> oh my. Come on. I'm talking about praying time, y'all. I'm talking about times when you don't feel like praying. I'm talking about just sometimes I just pray just to be praying. Y'all. you already have it covered. I know that you already gonna take care of me. I know that, you know what, I'm not gonna worry about situations and circumstances anymore. Because I know that you already have taken care of them. God help me. That's the thing. And I was laying in the bed, thank you for bringing it back to my remembrance, Holy Ghost. And I was laying in the bed and God said, I, I will not forget this, it was just this morning. And God said, tell them to ask me. Come on. Amen. That's right. See, see, sometimes we, we, we tend to take for granted that God already knows and he does. But scripture says to ask. Scripture says to make your request known unto me. In prayer and supplication. That's what he said. Yeah. Holly, make your request known. See, sometimes we think we can't ask God. Hallelujah. Because well, sometimes we say, you know, he already knows. Hallelujah. Yeah. And so we just go on off to sleep or we go on off to work and all that. But the prophet God said, just tell the people to ask me. Yeah. Ask him for it. Because it's already done. Yeah. Come on, give the Lord a hand clap of praise. And as I was looking down in my Bible, I said, maybe this was a, a misprint. Uh, the nobleman said, come by ear. In the King James Version, it's E-R-E. -E. He said, Jesus, could you come by ear? And I said, why was the pastor keep saying, go back and get it, go back and get it, go back and get it? But then in the 48th verse, the Bible says this. He said, when the man came to him in the 47th verse, he said, listen, my son is dead or dying almost to the point of death. Uh, go ahead. Uh -huh. And Jesus said, unless you see mm -hmm. Come on. signs and wonders, you will not believe. Now, I ask myself, why would Jesus say that prior to healing the man? Go ahead. Why would he tell him, listen, you are going to believe unless Come on. you see signs and wonders. Go ahead. Now, the pastor said, keep going back. Keep going back. And then you know what she said? Come on. Because it's already done. Before he even asked, this is what you know, the omniscient of Jesus. Listen, before he even asked, he knew what the need was. And it was all ready, ready done. Go ahead. Before he asked. Come on. Now, it goes a little bit further. Go ahead. After he said, look, could you come by? And Jesus sent the word. Guess what they said? The reason for asking, the Bible says, because at that time, the fever broke. Come on. See, whatever you're going through, first of all, it's already done. Uh-huh. But your break comes when you ask. That's right. See, it's already done. That thing that you're going through is already done. But you get the break. When you ask them. That's see, right. when, when you put something in the oven and it begins to cook, yeah. see, some people begin to set the table. Why? Right. In anticipation yeah. that it's cooking. Yeah. See, but when you hear the book, eh, 
it's done. No, yeah. And you begin to serve it up. Listen, family, I don't know what you want, what you're going through, but it's already done. done. Listen, Pastor, listen. I'm going to tell you something. We all have needs. And you know what? I believe prior to going into the first, that the Lord wants line you to the pride to make sure that, listen, we are in step with what we're doing. And we have been coming up here week after week as the pride, just holding hands, saying, listen, there's some things that we want to be done. Listen, that thing is eight, this is the 18th. We have about 13 more days in this old year. We don't have to wait until 11.59 Amen. and play it close. Mm -hmm. right. It's already That's right. done. That's right. But are you willing to come up and say, Lord, I got something to ask you. Uh, I got something to ask you. If you desire prayer, uh -huh. it's already done. Yes. We just want to touch and agree. Yes. Come. It's all ready done. 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 Father God, we just come before you, God. Members of the pride, Father. Yes, oh God, and just visitors. Yes, Father, we pray, oh God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, yes, that this year in 2011, we have been through so many things, so many uncertainties, Father. Yes. But Lord, your word has said, if we just ask. Yes, so Father, right now in our spirits, oh God, we lift up our hearts and say, Lord, this is what I need. Yes, and Father, we know it's already done. Yes. Lord, I know, oh God, some people may be struggling in relationships, yes, but Lord. this is what I need. Yes, Father, it's already done. Lord, Lord, I know, oh God, some may be struggling financially, oh God, yes. but guess what? It's already done. Yes, Lord, Lord, I know, oh God, some may not be able to see their way out of their situation, oh God, yes. but I do know one thing. Yes. It's already done. Some may stand here heartbroken, oh God, but one thing we do know, it's already done. God, we just pray, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, no matter what we stand in need of, Father, yes. you have already said we will see signs, we will see miracles. Yes. Father, and we know, oh God, based upon what you said, it's already done. So, Lord, we just want to say thank you in advance, oh God, for just as you have broke the young man's fever, you have and Lord, we just want to say thank you. Lord, thank you because it's already done. That you tired enough before we can ask, we were on your mind. And you have already fixed it for each and every one of us. Father, we thank you for making it already done. In the mighty name of Jesus, we rejoice and say thank you, oh God, for the complete work of Jesus Christ. The healer, the deliverer, the liberator. It's already done. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Y'all hug somebody and tell them you love them. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Let us thank Brother George. Amen. Our cameraman in the back. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Amen. So I said, I'm going to ask the form. I said, I ain't going to get the form. Amen. Sister Melinda, pass it out the form, y'all. Amen. Love you, George. Love you, too. Uh. You want it, man? <laughs> Amen. Amen. Sister Melinda is handing out forms for the members of the Pride. And those that even would like to be a part of the Pride. There's some information that we would like to have that we can send you information and let you know exactly what's going on in line with you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.
Takže... Oh, 